Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It's a lovely early spring day here in Chicago. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today we're going to look at Lumion, some special animation features. So you see we have this water flowing and then we're going to have some snow falling. So we'll look at a lot of weather animation and we're also going to look at animating the sunlight as you'll see in this clip as it makes its way across the sky. So I'm going to let you in on a lot of little secrets here for Lumion animation. So I'm super excited about this one. All right. <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click on subscribe. Click on the bell to receive all the notifications so you don't miss out. There is something here for everyone. Today we're looking at animation. I have AI. I have 3D modeling. I have parametric modeling. I have digital fabrication, so don't miss out on any of the videos. Help me get to 14,000 subscribers. Pretty close. That's going to be a great milestone. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. Recently, I've been making videos to help architecture students along on their journey, and they've been really well received. Help me get to 13,000 followers. That would be great. All right. So we'll start out with the first scene, kind of take this scene by scene. So this is the first scene here where we're just kind of, well, I should mention that in the animation, I do take the still images and those get played really quickly in front of you just to kind of catch your eye. And then this is our first scene with the water flowing and the rocks, where the water's flowing up against the rocks, I, rocks, I should say, I should say. <laughs> should say all right let's uh let's take a look at this in lumion so here we have our scene so really what is it what is what what is or how did we um make this water so i should say that i started with a default scene in lumion they have a default winter scene so i started with that default winter scene and that has an object if i go to materials that has this object that's called paint, and you see that highlighted here. It is this water area, and I took that area, I think it had a snow material applied to it, and I applied a water to it. So if I go ahead and I click on that, and then I go to settings, we're gonna see that this is a water, and it has density, it has water color, wave height, roughness, wave scale, caustic scale, reflectivity, foam, and border displacement. So how did I do this? So I got this from the library, and in the library there is a, a water a water feature. So I should mention I'm in Lumion 2024, super excited about that. So things might be a little different if you're still in 2023. But I went to water, and then underwater you have all the different types of water. So you'll see this change in real time. So that looks more like a pool at a resort. Uh, and then there's a darker water there's a blue lake and there's you know a bunch of these the ocean looks pretty cool I like the way the water looks like it's rushing up on the shore um, so I started with one of these um, waters and then I just made some adjustments in it I think this let's see if I can find the one that I used It might have been this, starting with this lake here, which is uh, a black water, and then going to settings and starting to change um, some of the settings. You know, you can look at the water density. But the one thing I really was playing with a lot was the wave scale and also the wave height. So you see that really changes the way it looks. There's some roughness in there. And there's the foam, which, which is really high in this one. So you see the foam as it kind of rushes up against objects like the landscape. Um, so I really worked with some of these. There's this border displacement, how far the foam comes away. So 
really cool features here with the water. Um, the only other thing that I did with the water is I did some mass placements for the stones. So we can take a look at that. So that I found under, under the content library and then under nature. And then there is a rocks category. And there's a bunch of different subcategories in there. I just happened to work with this one and I placed in all of these. So I went to my mass placement and I went to line placement. And then I added in, well, first I'm going to draw a line. So I'm just going to draw a line. And then I added in all of these. So I would click on the plus. And I'd click on the plus. And I just added in all these all these stones. Okay, so you get the idea. And you see those populating on the line. And I can put in a lot or I can put in few. <clears throat> I can change their direction. I can randomize their offset from the line, which is really helpful. Randomize the spacing on the line. Randomize the direction. But then I did have to go in when I clicked on the check mark. I did have to go in with the selection tool and kind of, I guess, painstakingly is the right word, and just kind of lower them at different heights in the water because by default they were they were floating on top of the water. Okay, so that's how I made the first scene. And if we go to our movie. We can see that clip. This is the clip here. So this is the clip that had the, the flowing stones in there. Right now my waves are higher than the stones um, from the changes that we made. Okay, and then my next clip was just a, a little bit of a pan, a pan to the right across the, that same water. So to do that, I just went to, I went to edit clip, and I made this clip four seconds long. You can see that on the right, and this was my starting position. And then when I went to the end, I just used my arrow key, like my right arrow key. You can see it now if I'm doing it. I just used my right arrow key to pick the end point, and really conscious of not moving too far to the right because it's only a four seconds, so just a really gentle movement. So we can see that. We look at the water, this one. This was our first scene. And then this is the second scene where we're just panning to the right. Now our third scene is just a simple pan to the left. And with this one, I worked with the weather. I worked with the snow falling, which was a lot of fun. So let's see that one. This is this one here. So here you just see it panning. And also, in addition to the snow, and we see this in the upper left, in addition to the snow, which is the precipitation, I also added a wind. So again, this is a, a simple pan. So if I go to edit clip, we see in the right, it's four seconds long. I had a starting position. And with that starting position, I just, um, you know, there was just a plus there. I added a keyframe. And then again, I just used my arrow key to pan to the left. And then I clicked on the plus to add another keyframe. So let's look at let's look at this. So precipitation. I'm just going to double click on that. So a lot of these you are able to animate because they have create keyframes. So you can move your timeline to a certain second. It's like zero seconds or one second to a certain second, and then you can create a keyframe which holds that. Like in this case, the precipitation. <laughs> In the precipitation phase at a certain um, point. So if I move this over, you see that it can go from different precipitation phases. So I can add a keyframe for that. So like there's one point where right there where the snow is nicely on the trees. So there's particle speed, how fast the snow is going to come down, how much of it is going to come down, how big is it, is it blocked by trees. This extra fog addition was something was really nice because you know as snow really falls um, quickly we start to get more fog and it's harder to see 
So all these little settings were really good. And then there's the rain and snow, which I will take a look at in a later clip. Okay, so that was precipitation. Then we have wind. And I've just had the best of luck, which is turning the wind speed all the way up to 100% and keeping it there. I haven't really found much difference in the wind direction, but I've just keep the wind speed and the foliage wind all the way up. And then that gives us our result, as we can see, if we play this here, you'll see that the leaves, they're not like moving like crazy. They're just kind of going up and down, <laughs> um, as you might expect them to in the snow. And then our last kind of nature scene is this one, where it's just a simple pan up, snow is falling. Okay, so let's get, uh, let's take a look at that one. Okay, so that is this clip here. So just a simple, if I press play here, just a simple pan, pan up. So again, this was just with my up arrow key, just, you know, starting at this, starting at the zero second frame and then clicking a plus to add a keyframe and then going to the four seconds, moving my up arrow. Or actually, it doesn't work with the up arrow. You're going to have to use the Q and the E key. So the Q key raises it and not going up too far, and then you have the pan upward, the vertical pan. Okay, so that was it for this particular file, which I had called Nature. Now we're going to go over to a scene that I called Cabin that has the cabin files into it. Okay, so here you see our cabin scene. So this, again, I used the, the winter default scene, and then I modeled this small cabin in Rhino, and I used Live Sync to bring the model over into Lumion. So if we go to our movie, and if I bring up our little movie, so this is our first, our first scene here. Now, what I didn't mention is for these nature scenes, I use the default effect stack setting which was realistic and I'll just uh, I'll take a look at that so if I go over here to weather animation this is the weather animation so I actually used an overcast so if I click on cu custom style here there's the there's the ray trace overcast so this is this is all in 2024 which is using ray tracing but in 2023 it was just an overcast and then there was a, a realistic style. So just clicking on these. So it's a little different in 2024. Let's take another look at that. Okay, so I'm guessing the realistic now has just been turned to day. So I was using the day in 2024 or the realistic in 2023. I was using that style. And then for this style, I was using the overcast. And then in addition to those, I added things like a sun in some cases so that the sun can pan across the sky. And again, you have here these create keyframes. So I can go to zero and at zero seconds over here, you see a little diamond there. And on the right for six seconds, you see another little diamond. So these were a little longer than four seconds. I made them six seconds just to keep the, the speed um, slow. So as I move this to the right, the sun heading. So on the, if you look here at the sun heading, it starts out at where you don't see the bar. And then when I get toward the end here, it's going to come up with the sun heading here. So I was just animating this sun heading. So here you can see that kind of moving across the sky here. Okay, so that was the sun. That was one thing. And then the precipitation. 
Again, this was the same thing with the rain, snow. I have it all the way over to the right so that it's snow. There's part, there's precipitation phase. So what phase it's in. So whether it has more snow or less snow, you just got to, that one's a little funky to work with, but it's more or less snow in this case or more or less rain in another case. So that was animated. And then the camera movement is just a simple zoom in, very, very slow over six seconds. So that, again, was just by going on the edit clip and then starting at a certain position at frame zero, clicking on the plus, going over to frame six, just using my, this is an up arrow key or um, the W key and just moving in a certain amount and the, at six and then clicking on a plus to add that keyframe. Okay, so that is that is this scene where you're just moving in very slowly. The snow is falling really nicely, and the sun is moving across. Now this one I call like the sleet scene because it's 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 raining and snowing at the same time, which we're calling sleet. And I really like the way that that looks on the foreground, uh, on the ground plane, I should say. I really like this look on the ground plane that's kind of reflecting the sunlight. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so that's this pan left with sleet. So this is, uh, you can see it was using a dawn. So that used the dawn preset for the uh, effect stack. And then there is our precipitation. So I can go into that. And you see it's right between rain. There's just full on rain. And then as I move this to the right, it's going to get full on snow. So I was just kind of right there where it's sleet. And then the phase of that, which is how much, you can really see the phase changing here. So that just really, this phase really um, really deals with the ground plane, how much snow or rain is, is gonna be left on that. And again, particle speed, quantity, and so on. So we're just really loving the precipitation effect. And then it was just um, a, slow, a slow pan to the left with um, some sleet falling. So that was really a good one. And then our last one, if we take a look over here, our last scene is just a slow vertical pan up and then changing the, this is actually animating the sun. So this is some, something we haven't looked at. How do you animate the sun through uh, what Lumion calls a sun study? So let's go ahead and go to that scene. And here we see our precipitation, which we looked at, I think, enough. And then we have our sun study. So this is a, an effect that you can add. And at frame zero, this is the particular hour, so 15. So I think that, I don't know, it's like 3 o'clock. And then if I press play, I'm just rising up above it. So just a slow vertical pan. And then we'll see if I just move this all the way over to the right, you see the hour is now 18. So it's now turned to darkness. <laughs> so, you know, from not too far, just animated from 13 to 18, and then just a quick vertical pan, and that, uh, that ends the video. So I had a lot of, I tell you, I had a lot of fun making this in Lumion. Just the animation was just so easy, and I had so much control and so many things I can animate, like the sky and the, the time of day and the, the snow and the rain and the moving water. It just really was a pleasure to make this in Lumion. All right, uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully this helps you, gives you some inspiration, um, maybe shows you a few things you didn't know of. If you liked it, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Tell me why you liked it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. Click on that if you haven't subscribed. And I'm going to put a video in the upper right and a playlist in the lower right. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.